Morning everyone and welcome again to my channel. I am with another sixth form student. His name is Shamar Turner and he did such a wonderful presentation on Rita Dove's poem, The Search, that I had to share it with the wider public. I trust that you'll find his presentation beneficial. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. I'm here again with one of my sixth form students, Shamar Turner. Um, Shamar, would you like to provide us with an, an introduction of yourself? How would you describe yourself? All right, so I'm Shamar Turner, and I'm currently a year 13 student at the Middlebrook High School. Uh -huh. My hobbies include reading, watching uh -huh. movies, as well as writing plays and short stories for entertainment purposes. Okay. Over the course of my studies at this school, I've been a part of various groups, including the peer council, student council, where I currently have the position of ex officio, and I was selected as the head boy for this academic school year. Excellent. Okay. So, Shamar, what five adjectives would you use to describe yourself? Miss, I'm determined, uh, courageous. One. Courageous, two. Creative. Mm -hmm. Smart. And Smart, four. And just brave. Brave, okay, right. So you're very good, excellent, excellent adjectives. So what, was there an incident where you had to um, exhibit bravery? Where you had to be brave? Why yes, miss, many, yes, miss, many incidents, you know, like there was a situation last year where I was required to host devotion before the COVID-19 pandemic came. And even though I'm not someone who is really comfortable with such a large setting, you know, to speak with the school, I had to just unlock my true potential and just face it. And I ended up doing a fantastic job. Excellent. Okay. So, right. So you rose to the occasion and you execute and it goes well done. Okay. What are some of the challenges that um that you would have encountered being in a sixth form? Because of the more in-depth level of work that I was faced with at sixth form, mm -hmm. there were many times where I was forced to be completely dedicated to my studies without any time mm -hmm. for myself, yes, due yes, to whether meeting yes, strict yes. deadlines, and in many scenarios, the workload was huge. You know, yes, as students, you're expected to be divulged in our studies. However, we need time for ourselves to just relax. So I'd say the nature of six farms workload in comparison to the other lower grades was the biggest challenge. Okay. Yeah. How did you, how were you able to overcome that challenge? How were you able to overcome that challenge? Well, I did, I formulated this thing where I bribe myself in a sense that I'm like, all right, so Shamar, if you just finish your assignment or, you know, you study for three hours, then you get to watch a movie, you know, or you can do certain stuff that you would enjoy. So personally, I love watching movies. I love listening to music. So I just do this Rasta thing. So force yourself to do something. Once you understand, you do something you like. 
Okay, uh, good. Excellent. I like, I like, I like that. Like you just mentioned, bribing yourself and giving yourself a reward at the end that of the, the fact that once you have completed a task, you're able to give you to reward yourself. That's a good um, strategy. I, I really like that one. I recommend it to anyone as well. Right? Thank good. You. Yes. What are some of the things you enjoy about being in sixth form? Miss, I really enjoy the responsibility that is attached to being a sixth form student. We have the opportunity to encourage students at lower levels to not mm -hmm. give up and strive for success, you know, as we have passed through what they are currently experiencing. Mm -hmm. Also, the fact that sixth form must have non-contact sessions that allow for additional study time and just in some cases, time to relax is an advantage of the program as well. Excellent. Excellent response. Would would you encourage persons to go to sixth form? Most definitely, I'd encourage people to attend sixth form. My reason for this stance is because the program allows for students to be exposed to classes that mirror university lectures, which help yes. them to adjust yes. quickly when they make the transition from secondary yes. to tertiary institution levels. Also, it aids in easier matriculation to some universities as the CAPE exam, in many cases, give credits to students in their selected university courses and makes them complete their studies in shorter time frames. Very good response. Thank you. Was, was it easy for you to find information on which I poem? Miss, it was not easy, you know. <laughs> I must say she's a very famous individual based on the information I I found on her personal yes. life and success. Mm -hmm. However, as it relates to the poetry collection, there were there wasn't really much information on that. So I was forced to read and analyze the poems myself based on their nature, themes, content, and structure. Okay. Thank you. Did you find that the Christian approach um, assisted you somewhat in analyzing her poems? I love the twist up approach because it, it allowed us to be immersed in the research. It gave me the ability to think big in a sense that I had to analyze everything from the title and the structure to a line by line analysis, and even a revisitation mm -hmm. to see where the poem I was giving the search fitted in among the others within the poetry collection. Excellent response. Yes, I must say you did a fantastic job in analyzing that poem, the search. Thank you, Miss. Okay. What did you find fascinating about the research, the presentation that you did? I love the fact that the poem was just so perfectly written to fit in in the whole collection based on the previous poems that we have studied, which were Mother Love, Persephone, Falling, Persephone Abduction, The Narcissus mm -hmm. Flower. So it was just it couldn't have come in a better sequence. And I love the fact that Rita Dove just gave us something that allowed us to think about what it would be like to be in a situation like that, searching for whatever we need to find. Excellent. Excellent response. Um, were you able you know, to relate to women and some of the um, experiences that they would have gone through, traumatic experiences that they would have um, endured? Yes, miss. Because this poem is written from a mother's perspective, Demeter. You know, like it centers around her experience. So the fact that her child was kidnapped and how she was just determined to find her child allowed me to reflect on what mothers out there go through to protect the ones that they love. So I couldn't imagine being in a position like that to lose someone, but I totally understand now the importance of, you know, how women out there just deal with certain situations and the strength they have. Excellent. 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 So you would say that um, our poems also offer life, life lessons? Yes, miss. Her poems teach me a lot. Okay. 
What encouragement would you leave with young people who are struggling or find school difficult or challenging? I'd encourage those young people struggling to forget about the judgment that others may show to them. In life, many will talk as if they know who you are based on perceptions mm -hmm. that they may have made that are most of the time false. Therefore, yeah. we need to persevere and make our truth be the only one that we give ourselves and not the false truth that others may try to force. Personally, my motto in life is time is the master. And basically what that means is that nothing is forever. The hurt you may feel, the obstacles you may face, and the constant hatred and rejection is not forever. So you need to unlock what makes you amazing and keep believing in yourself despite the judgment. Because if you listen to it and believe in the confusion and negativity, you will reach nowhere. So keep on pushing through and you'll be successful. Here you have it. Wonderful words of encouragement, Shamar. Okay, what encouragement would you also offer to young ladies and even young men who are searching for love? So for the young ladies, I just offer them the encouragement of just remain wise. Don't be swayed by sweet talk because people will say stuff and they don't mean it. Mm -hmm because there are a lot of manipulators out here and we just need to remain wise and use, use what you know to be true based on the different situations others before you may have gone through. And for the men out there, just be true to yourselves and don't try to change to fit someone else, what they want out of the situation. Okay, excellent, excellent, Shamar. It was indeed a pleasure to interview you, Shamar. You were on point with your presentation. It showed that you know you really are someone who is invested, right, in your lesson. You 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 were meticulous in your presentation, on point with your analysis of the devices, the themes, and all. And we must commend you for a job well done. Well done, Shamar. Keep Thank it up. You. All the best in your future pursuits. Well done. Excellent, Shamar. Thanks a lot, Miss. Okay, I'm going to stop recording now, Shamar. You know <laughs> what is going to happen, okay? Let me yes, stop please. recording now. All right. What is going to happen, Shamar? Today's presentation will, will be on an analysis of the poem, The Search by Rita Love. All right, so here's a copy of the poem. Wait, Shamar. Shamar, one minute, please. Shamar, are you hearing me now? Yes, yes, yes I just lost. Yes. Blown apart by life. Blown apart by she life. let herself go. She let herself go. Wandered the neighborhood hatless. The neighborhood hatless. Swinging under a ratty Her sweater. Under a Rusted mascara black in her gaze. It was a shame. It was the a shame. The wives whispered. To carry on, so. carry on so. To them, wearing to them, foam curlers arrayed like piglets to market like was, piglets almost was almost demonized. But an uncombed head. But an uncombed head. Not to be trusted. Not to be trusted. The men watched more closely, men watched more closely tantalized by so tantalized much difference. So Winter came early Winter and came still, early and she still frequented the park by the river until one, one with murmurous eyes pulled her down to size. <laughs> Sniffed Mrs. Franklin, <laughs> ruling matron to the rest. Serves her right, Serves her right. the old mirror. The old mirror. About, about the point now. 
So the search by Rita Dove presents an observer who sheds light on what he or she thinks of Demeter's current state and how the individuals around her perceive it. Additionally, Demeter's grief is reflected, which links to her dismissal of her appearance. As she wonders, the public watch her, watches, watches her enthusiastically, as well as on guard in a situation where she acts as she looks. Primarily, primarily, it is her continuous quest to locate her daughter being presented along with the effects and results that are intertwined. Consequently, a physical as well as a mental search is highlighted. Form and structure of the poem. The poem is a non-traditional sonnet. In addition, there, are no, there, there is no rhyme scheme or space to separate the lines. However, it is clear where one quatrain stops and the other begins by the way the ideas are grouped in lines. Importantly, the lines are short but represent essential facts about the focal point of the situation and circumstances presented. Furthermore, the poem is chronologically written to allow for an easy understanding by the reader. Hence, the poem is developmental as it continues on the plot of the broad poetry collection modeled by perfectly fitting in place with the poems before. The protagonist is Demeter, while the antagonist is society. Finally, the dominant moods were sadness, scorn, shock, and resilience. Message of the poem. All right, so the first message was for, the first message was to remain resilient. The poem provides the reader with a drastic and stressing situation where the character, the meter faces so many hard challenges to locate her missing daughter, Persephone. However, that does not affect her. She does not lose hope and instead continues to persevere through the hardships. Hence, the readers can learn from Demeter and apply that same fighting spirit in their life to, many, to, to any obstacles that may oppose their success and dreams. Two, expect judgment but ignore it. This message is brought alive from the criticisms of society regarding Demeter's attire, which contrasts which contrast that, that what which is deemed normal and acceptable in society. The people of the public gossiped, observed, and mocked Demeter, but she ignored it because at the end of the day, people's views do not matter unless you give them the power over your life. Hence, it stresses for us to be our own critic and to expect being judged and marginalized even if we're doing something good. Three, help is not guaranteed. One would think that because of the circumstances surrounding Persephone's abduction, that the public would have assisted her in the search. However, no one did. Hence, the poet is telling us that in life, in order to achieve solutions, sometimes we have to do the work ourselves. We are our only source of help. In other words, we are required to help ourselves and not waste time waiting for assistance. Four, people of power are not necessarily autonomous or good. This message was channeled through Mrs. Franklin, who was a ruling matron of the community. In other words, she was a powerful woman with influence. Instead of looking into the Demeter's dilemma and accessing the possible impact it may have had on her life, she did, not, she did the exact opposite and sided with the popular views of the other members of society who labeled, who labeled Demeter as a crazy woman. She did nothing to convince the women to stand with Demeter in the time of distress or even assist Demeter in any way. She just sniffed and implied that Demeter deserved everything she was facing. Hence, Mrs. Franklin had no mind of her own and instead sided with society. Five, labeling based on appearance is common. The individuals in the community labeled Demeter as a crazy woman based on her appearance. But an uncombed head not to be trusted was evidence of this. Hence the point's message to us was that in order to be accepted into society and to obtain support wherever we go, we need to look appropriate and approachable or else we will attract a ne negative label 
four cells. Part one. What does the title, the search convey? The, the title conveys a lot of stuff. It could be a quest for acceptance. It could be journey to find belonging, hope, and identity. Maybe it's an exam, it's an examine for, it means examining for deeper meaning, perhaps to explore, desire to discover, to look into thoroughly, to seek, attempt to, co to uncover something embedded. The title could mean anything. But as we go through this presentation, we will see how each of these various perspectives tie in. Explanation of the title. The title of the poem is used both literally and figuratively. The literal meaning is applied as the persona seems to be desperate in trying to understand their surroundings for the purpose of locating something missing by examining each crevice or clues. However, the figurative meaning can be applied as the persona's trueness and humanness is no longer a dominant feature in the poem. Hence, a search for humanity is chronicled in a period plagued with uncertainty and disgrace. Importantly, the title is particularly tied to Demetra's continual search for her missing daughter, Persephone, and their lack of care for her physical features during that time. This poem, however, provides a detailed account on her appearance, especially providing insight on how onlookers viewed her. Themes. One, hope. Two, physical appearance. Physical appearance. Three, grief. Four, loss. Five, perseverance and determination. Hope. This theme is prevalent throughout the poem as the persona presented had this pre presented and described an individual who was suffering through immense depression and hardships. Evidence of this was line four, which read, mascara blackening her gaze. It was a shame. This exposed the fact that the character being referenced, Demeter, was having a hard time to cope with the disappearance of her child. Additionally, that can be linked to how individuals in society tend to deal with moments of pain and uncertainty. Hence, the mascara blackening her gaze represents the impact the tears would have had, which would have caused instability, leading to loss of strength. It was a shame, provided readers with insight on how onlookers view Demeter, as well as tend to view persons in similar circumstances. In conclusion, hope was one of the strongest themes present in the poem as the individual being watched by the persona gave the readers a clear understanding of how drastic the kidnapping of Persephone was on Demeter, how it affected her physical appearance and how onlookers judged her for remaining hopeful. However, despite this, she placed hope at the center of everything she did. All right, so to continue this, despite the uncertainty and indications that she would not be successful in locating her missing child, she still remained hopeful. This was highlighted in line 11, which read, she frequented the park by the river. This reinforced the fact that Demeter never lost hope because that was all she had. She continued to search for, the, for her person phone, despite having no leads or trace. She was just a mother who would do anything to rescue her child, no matter what others may say to discourage her. Physical appearance. Physical appearance played a pivotal role in the expansion of a variety of themes presented in the poem. Additionally, phrases such as, but an uncombed head, not to be trusted, allowed the reader to understand the state which Demeter was in, which was terrible. Also, the way outsiders view there was also mentioned, which included, by so much indifference. That highlighted that she was not a normal person in their eyes. Instead, she was an outcast. This allowed the reader to obtain a visual image of how Demeter's state was like 
and how she was perceived in the larger public, which was a disgrace to womanhood. One, wives whispered. The wives were mentioned as they would have been expected to look a certain way in society. So the fact that Demeter was not looking like them caused them to have an understanding of the two everything would have had on her. But an uncombed head not to be trusted. This exposed that physical appearance tends to attract a label to an individual. In this case, Demeter's head being uncombed caused many to believe that she was crazy and unstable. Three, the men watched more closely. Demeter's disheveled appearance caused the men to observe her every mood as a method to protect themselves. Themselves, in case she acted like a crazy or mad person as she was as the label she was given. Grief. Grief is the is one of the central themes in the poem, as it is the main reason why Demeter was deteriorating physically, mentally, and emotionally. Importantly, grief is the reason why the evolution of the other themes were as connective as they are, as grief was embedded within each. It aided in the meanings and explanations of a variety of phrases mentioned throughout the poem. Primarily, grief is the reason why the title of the poem has a meaning that is able to develop an image in the reader's mind to immediately understand how Demeter's state of mind was. Grief was the emotion triggered after Demeter's child was kidnapped. The reason why Demeter was even searching was because she wanted to find her child to eradicate all the grief she had experienced. Loss. The disappearance of Persephone would have represented the theme of loss in this poem. Primarily, loss is, loss is the sole reason why Demeter had become such a catastrophe in the, to the eyes of those in the story. It was also the reason why her sorrow and pain were central parts of her characterization throughout the poetry collection. Importantly, loss would have also been channeled as a mental, mental abandonment as well in the poem, as we slowly realize throughout each poem, she loses touch of who the Demeter before the dilemma was. Perseverance and determination. Why are those words one theme. The main reason these two words were blended together was simply because they were cohesively throughout the poem to reflect the nature of Demeter's quest to locate her daughter. How did she persevere or remain determined? After trying to find her support for so long, she did not give up. Her efforts may have taken a toll on her body, but that did, that did not deter her efforts to search. She persevered despite the odds being against her. Part two, analysis of the lines within the poem. Line one, blown apart by a loss. She let herself go. She let herself, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the opening line set the tone of the poem, which is sadness. It gives a detailed account of how severe the kidnapping of Persephone had on Demeter. Hence, her physical state showed how devastating the loss was on her, which was why blown apart was used to describe the impact of loss. Also, her mental state could be link, linked as she was no longer focusing on the things that a normal person should. Consequently, she was not making rational decisions. This represented chaos in her life. She let herself go, presented the readers with a direct account of what the people around her would have thought when they saw her. She was no longer a put together woman, instead she was a mess. And their problem was that she did not care to fix it. Lines two to three, wander the neighborhood heartless, verse swinging under a ratty sweater, frosted. This line depicts a visual image of Demetra actually searching for their support. The word wandered solidifies this. Additionally, the presentation of Demeter documented by the persona showed that her state was disastrous as she was barely clothed. This signifies disgrace. Under Ratti Sweater clarifies that she was dirty and hard to look at. Line 4. Mascara blackening her gaze. It was a shame. 
This line expresses the emotions that the meteorites experiencing, which was sorrow and depression. In this case, the only reason why the mascara was blackening her gaze was because of the tears being shed constantly. It was a shame. Exposes how critical those around her were. They were not pleased at her state. Lines 5 to 8, the wives whispered, to carry on so, to them, wearing foam curlers arranged like piglets to mark it was almost a bonnet, but an uncombed head not to be trusted. Firstly, these lines go in depth to verify the wives in the community would have been alarmed by the meter's experience. Secondly, the persona provides us with the ladies' reaction, which was whispering amongst themselves. Finally, they realized that she was unstable based on her abnormal attire, and as wives, they knew an uncombed head represented distortion, which they wanted no part of. They were on edge. Lines 9 to 12. The men watched more closely, tantalized by so much indifference. Winter came early and still. She frequented the path by the river until one with murmurous eyes pulled her down to size. These lines provided the reader with an understanding of how long Demeter had been searching. Winter came early and still she frequented the path by the river. She was determined to find Persephone despite the effects of the coldness associated with winter. Lines 13 to 14 sniffed Mrs. Franklin, a ruling, ma ruling matron to the rest. Serves her right, the old mayor. The closing lines of the poem are very important as we are giving insight on the, op on the opinion of a member of the community, particularly Mrs. Franklin, whose views represent that of the majority of the community. Her role in the community as a matron, which in this context is an older married woman who is staid or dignified. Clearly, Mrs. Franklin is influential, especially towards the women and the families in the community, hence her views channel that of the community. Additionally, the meter is compared to an old mare, which is a female horse. This suggests that the meter was no longer seen as a woman, but as an animal that deserved its separation and disagreement. Part three, techniques employed by the poet. Visual imagery. Visual imagery was prevalently used throughout the poem with the utilization of words and phrases such as ratty sweater, mascara blackening her gaze, and uncombed head. It was significant in progressing the poem, in a sense that Demeter's state was accurately presented, which allowed the reader to understand the events that were unfolding, which led to an experience being unleashed where the readers are fully immersed within the poem, as, it is, as if it is on screen. Hence, the ability to notice the effect of Persephone's disappearance had on Demeter, as well as the disregard she had for taking care of her physical and mental state, which angered the onlookers, is placed at the forefront. This makes the title of the poem accurate, reliable, and fitting. In other words, the title serves its purpose, which is to present activities both direct and indirectly, and indirect, rather, that are related to searching. Consequently, readers are brought along the search with Demeter, primarily because of the visual imagery employed. Similarly, to them, wearing foam curlers are in like piglets, the market was almost a veneer. This enables the reader to understand the importance of looks in the society in which the poem was embedded within. The women were expected to present themselves in an appropriate way to accurately represent a phenomenal woman. Hence, this stimuli gives us insight on the woman's views. Additionally, the word debonair, which was used contextually in a way that translates to confident, they view Demeter as brave to do that despite the fact that she knew she'd be ostracized and frowned upon. This device also sheds light on Demeter's appearance and the contrast of it to the woman. Rhetorical question but an uncombed head. This served the role of enlightening the reader about how vital it was to look presentable. Based on the placement of the rhetorical question, which was during the persona scope of the woman's views towards Demeter, 
it can be assumed that they saw here as the forefront of an individual. Hence, they were upset and disgusted and saw as an outcast, someone who did not belong. Therefore, Rita Dove's usage of the follow-up statement, not to be trusted, heightens the purpose of the device as it makes the meter look crazy, all because of her uncombed head, which further solidified that the woman judged on an individual sanity. Sorry, the woman, the woman judge an individual sanity based on appearance. This can also be said about the general society. Situational irony. The situational irony used was a Mrs. Franklin, an older and much wiser individual of matron class, referred to the meat as an old mare, which means old and ragged female heart. Also, her statement serves her right was shocking as it encodes that she believed the meter deserved to go through the distress she was forced to deal with. The reader would have expected her to understand what the meter was going through and offer some sort of assistance to either offer words of encouragement or join the search for Persephone. Additionally, as a woman of prestige, she should have influenced the other ladies to sympathize with the meter as most were probably, probably mothers as well and would not want their child to be kidnapped. Hence, a movement of solidarity and unity was expected from Miss Franklin, even if she were to initially disagree with the predominant stance already taken by others. Instead, she joined with the other ladies, including those of common class, and spoke badly of the meter. Hence, the main irony was instead of behaving like a matron, she behaved like an amateur. Hence, they were not and they were all the same judgment, judgmental and inconsiderate people. Mrs. Franklin was not a matron. Instead, she was a commoner. Metaphor serves her right, the old mayor. The comparison being made is between Demeter and a female heart. It provided a depiction of what Demeter's features may have been similar to as, as it was an un as it was an look of Mrs. Franklin, who the persona aligns the words used. This served as a channel to allow the reader to understand how the general public viewed Demeter. Consequently, she was not a woman in their eyes. Instead, she was an animal solely because of how she carried herself. The tracking segment. The purpose of this segment is to briefly state how the poem contributes to the poetry collection's narrative by revisiting the previous poems the poetry collection Mother of by Rita Love is beautifully written and shows an interesting contrast from mainstream literature in its characterization and situations highlighted. So far, I've studied Mother Love, Persephone ad Abducted, Persephone Falling, The Narcissus Flower, and, and The Search. Importantly, Importantly each, each poem is connected, as in, as in they are intertwined, they are intertwined in order for the reader to be fully brought along, along, along the journey of the main of character, the main character Demeter's, Demeter's Dilemma. Mother Love Mother introduces, introduces the reader to the main problem at hand, which is the kidnapping of Demeter's daughter, Persephone. Here, Here, we see the we mental, see the mental devastation this has on her. her. Next, Next Persephone, Persephone abducted places us in a place place to further seeding everything, everything has on how Demeter society, society. Particularly, particularly, she disagreed, she disagreed with the system by particularly highlighting the injustices. She no, she no longer trusted the system's, system's laws, laws and regulations. And regulations. Persephone, Persephone falling details, details how Persephone was kidnapped. Particularly, particularly this, exposes this exposes the fact that she disobeyed the instructions, the instructions, of, instructions of her mother, of her mother which, which led to her dilemma. dilemma. Hence, Hence, here we here understand, understand that the meter was overprotected and caring. And caring. She, really she really loved their daughter. So the pain so that, that, that she would have experienced from the beginning of the collection Makes sense. Make sense. The narcissus, narcissus flower allowed, allowed us to know that Persephone, that Persephone was, not was not killed, just forced, just forced to marry the, the king of the, king of the, world. the world. We see how we Persephone, how Persephone learns, from learns from her experiences, which were horrific, which were horrific but, but were pivotal in her transition, transition from a girl, from a girl into, into a woman. A woman. 
Importantly, Importantly, the search the fits in the narrative, narrative as we see as the depths that, that Demeter went to find Persephone, Persephone, the impacted, impacted Cardinal, Cardinal physical, physical features, and how and people viewed her are chronicled. Chronicle. Hence, each Hence, poem is a vital, each poem is a vital in allowing the plot, in allowing the plot to be fully developed and, to have, and to have a smooth transition both which both entertains, creates suspense, create suspense and, makes, and sense. makes sense. The End Alright, thank you guys for listening to the presentation. Brittany, do you have any questions? Any question, anyone? Okay. Thomas. Let me let me first thank Shamar. Okay, no question. Let me first thank Shamar for such an excellent job. Um, well organized, well well structured. Let me tell you the points I I, I want to um commend you on right one very in-depth analyst of the poem i have here the line by line analyst was was on point i must say discussion of the point excellent commentary i have right here of the devices situational irony which you had mentioned when you talk about the old mayor serves her damn right the reader would have expected her to understand given the fact that she is a woman she should have understood of course for um the major's plight so must commend you for me that forward also the fact that you mentioned that the metaphors the metaphors that were you need however for you to work on your your colors right <laughs> the thing but the organization of the information well put together i like your introduction i like the message that you said that message that the universal yes so my question to you was what was the universal message that rita dove wanted want to resonate with 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 readers okay wanted to actually leave with readers that's my question to you well miss all of the themes that all of the messages that i highlighted would have tied in to remain resilient because the main reason why I, you know, separated them was because I wanted to just, I thought that remaining resilient would have been too broad. So I tried to mirror it down or, you know, just reduce it and say, okay, res remain resilient as one thing. And then I talk about the other ways or the other things that try to destroy resilience, whether it is something from society or how we are forced to try to just be normal. But yes, the main thing that Rita Dove would have tried to do, or the main thing, rather, the main message was for to remain resilient, resilient and fight against the odds, even if they're not in our favor. Miss Ayane. Okay, very good. Well done, right? It was nicely put together. Because when, when I wrote, Um, here you have to remain resilient. Look it down. Well done. One minute. I seem to be losing internet connection. I don't know why. Right? So here it is now. It says here to remain resilient, expect judgment, but ignore it. Help is not oh, guaranteed. I yeah. Uh, what are you saying, Chamar? You also mentioned that people of color are not necessarily autonomous or good. Labeling based on appearance is too much. So, um, well done. What do you have to say about this? No, Mr. Thought it was my wife. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. What do you have to say, Brittany? Any questions for Shamar? Do you have any questions? Let me fifth class for the day. Have any no, questions for him? It was very in depth, Miss. No questions. Yes.
Miss, did you hear me? Okay. Third. Right. So, Brittany, I'm going to load minions. Clark, um, presentation. I think Jamila's presentation should be on Golden Ode, isn't that so? So she would be at an ad Yes, Miss. Vantage, if we upload it, she might be at an ad